Not only will these little guys make your skin crawl, but they can also kill you. Some of them can burrow into your skin, and others can go a lot deeper. This isn't a nightmare. This is real life. And if you don't pay attention, it could be all over soon. Here's how to survive the top five most disgusting creatures. We all have different ideas of what's gross. While that big hairy spider might be repulsive to you, it could be a cute pet to someone else. But today we're going to look at five creatures that we can all agree are absolutely disgusting. This video might not be for the faint of heart, but it could save your life. Which creature is known for swimming into penises? How could a fly lay eggs under your skin? And how can nail polish protect you? I don't know. Number five, leeches. Any creature that will suck your blood is disgusting to me, and leeches are no exception. These slimy worms have three razor-sharp jaws that can clamp onto your body. They then suck out your blood while releasing saliva that helps the blood flow and prevents clotting. You're not their preferred food source, but that doesn't mean that leeches won't partake if they get a chance. They will try to nestle into a crevice in your body, like your groin, armpit, or between your toes. Or one might even try to get inside your nose, into your mouth, or in your ear. They usually live in water and can sense if you disturb it. They will also look for movement before attaching themselves to you. If a leech has them um, leached on, don't pour salt or vinegar on them. Use your fingernail or a credit card and slide it under the leech toward its mouth. Don't pull the leech. Instead, push it sideways. This reduces damage to your skin. Wash the bite and keep it clean to avoid infection. Number four, giant centipede. These large multi-lay creatures can be aggressive. They will bite you if you pick them up or step on them. The larger one is, the more venom it will deliver. If you get bitten, you'll feel pain immediately. You'll also suffer swelling and redness. You can have a severe allergic reaction to the venom with fever, nausea, and itching. You could even have a heart attack and die. Apply heat to the bite as quickly as you can. Soak the wound into the hot water to dilute the venom. Then use an ice pack to reduce swelling. Take an antihistamine or an anti-inflammatory drug to reduce the pain and watch for any allergic reactions. You may need medical help. If the wound hasn't improved in a few days, consult a doctor. Number three, Kendiru. This parasitic, translucent, eel-like fish can sneak up on you without being seen. Legend has it that it can swim up a man's penis, lodge itself inside the urinary tract, and feed on blood. But there's no truth to that tale. However, it will latch onto wherever it can. If you're in muddy or translucent waters, there could be thousands of them around you, but you wouldn't know it. To avoid an attack, wear a swimsuit. A full body suit would be best. The less skin you expose, the fewer spots can Deeru can latch onto. If you find one on you, don't panic. Evidence suggests that once it has fed on you for a few seconds, it will detach itself and swim away. If you'd rather not wait, you can pull it off without any further damage. You can also try using an acidic solution like lemon juice, vinegar, or hydrogen peroxide. It might stress the Kandiru and cause it to let go. Clean and disinfect your wound, then cover it. You may want to seek medical attention to make sure there is no infection. Number two, botfly. If you find yourself infested with botflies, don't kill the larvae before removing or squeezing them out. Rupturing the larva's body could cause anaphylactic shock and make it tougher to remove these little pests. Although botfly infestations happen in Central and South America, they can occur as far north as the United States. Botflies use mosquitoes to transmit their eggs. They lay their eggs on mosquitoes and if one stings you, it'll transfer the botfly larva into your skin. The bite will be red, swollen, and itchy. Pus will ooze from the wound, and it will feel like something is moving under your skin. That's because 
There is. There's a couple of ways to remove bot flies. You can use a topical anesthetic, enlarge the wound, and use forceps to remove the larva. Or you could spread petroleum jelly or nail polish on your skin to suffocate the larva. Then remove the pests. Number one, tapeworm. Bot flies squirm underneath your skin, but tapeworms live far deeper inside you. You can get infected with tapeworms by eating raw pork, beef, or fish, being exposed to livestock, or from poor hygiene. If you get infected, you will have diarrhea, abdominal pain, and weight loss. You could also have insomnia, headaches, and seizures. This means the tapeworm has infested your nervous system. You'll need to go to a hospital right away, or you could suffer permanent damage. You can help prevent infestation through diet. Eating raw garlic, pumpkin seeds, and pomegranates has killed parasites. Eating more fiber can get rid of worms, and probiotics can keep your digestive tract healthy. Zinc and vitamin C both support your immune system. All right, who else could use a break from these disgusting creatures? Maybe we should spend some time looking at pets instead. But don't get too comfortable, because some pets can turn on you in an instant. Want to know which pets like to throw their poop at you? Find out here on How to Survive.